Authority comes from crowdsourcing. It comes from lots of people arguing with each other, keeping each other honest, calling each other out. And biases will tend to average out across a community of scientists, a community of philosophers. And not that there can't be groupthink. Again, there's always a wrinkle. There's always a caveat. You have to worry about groupthink, group of people acting as a single entity. That's why you have a community following a process that's capable of self-criticism, that is capable of changing their minds, and they're constantly challenging what they believe against the facts, against reality, keeping each other honest. That's a well-functioning scientific community. And that's why science works, because it does all of those things. And it is ultimately humble, which I know is not the image that the public has of scientists. They're seen as know-it-alls. But really, when you're talking to a scientist and you're in the community, like you're in that world, humility is always front and center. You can't function without humility. You cannot function as a scientist without it because you're constantly trying to prove yourself wrong. That's how science works is you trying to prove yourself wrong, asking the people, why am I wrong here? Tell me how I'm wrong. How can I be getting this wrong? <laughs>